video demonstration for administration of inferior alveolar nerve block on a mannequin. Um, it is very important for the success of the local anesthesia that you should be aware of the anatomy. So we are going to switch on to the other model quickly to see what are the important landmarks which we should recognize and identify while administering local anesthesia. This is a model of mandible which is showing coronite process there and we have to identify in a patient the coronite notch which is the deepest concavity on the anterior border of the ramus of the mandible. We can easily identify that or palpate that in a living patient. This is also called external oblique ridge. Another feature or important landmark is the internal oblique ridge which is slightly medial to the coronite process there. This is the internal oblique ridge. The other important landmark for inferior elbow nerve block is the occlusal plane of the teeth. So these landmarks are used for the administration of the inferior elbow nerve block. Move now to the mannequin model for the administration of inferior elbow nerve block. This is a mannequin model which we are going to use for administration of inferior elbow nerve block. Here you can identify the coronoid notch where the finger of thumbnail should be put on there. And while the barrel of this syringe is lying on the opposite side of the premolar, you can have an injection point here. 0.5 millimeter, sorry, 5 millimeter medial to the coronoid notch and about 1 centimeter above the occlusal plane, which is here. You just can go and advance it until either you touch the bone or up to 25 millimeter depth. If you happen to touch the bone, then you have to withdraw the needle for 5 millimeter before you deposit any solution which will make the injection comfortable or if you touch the bone too early before inserting the needle up to 20 millimeter then you have to alter the position of the needle until you don't feel any resistance up to 20 millimeter. Once you are in correct position, then you have to deposit whole of your cartridge and then gently remove or withdraw the needle. For giving the long buckle nerve block, you have to infiltrate on the buckle side of the mandible surrounding lower wisdom tooth area over here. You don't have to go that deep if you are blocking the mandibular long buckle nerve. All you have to do is just find the mucogingival junction, which is the junction between the free gingiva and the attached gingiva and lies about 1 to 1.5 centimeter from the gingival crevice. This is the area where you have to deposit for blockage of the long buccal nerve. You have to advance the needle up to 0.5 centimeter inside the mucosa. And then again, you have to deposit very slowly. We are also going to demonstrate the block of the inferior alveolar nerve, which is slightly medial to the lower wisdom tooth. And by depositing few mils of the inferior alveolar nerve, uh, few mils of the 
local anesthesia in this area, you can easily block the uh, lingual nerve.